Alright then, so we're back. I honestly had no intent of being back, but I bought the entire season for like uh, three ninety nine, and here we are. Episode 2 of Little Red Riding Hood. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Six scenes. Alright, alright, alright. Here's a poser. How does Little Red Riding Hood, a disobedient child with eyesight poor as her judgment, escape mutilation from her confrontation with the most feared and hated creature of the forest? Hmm? She wouldn't, of course. But don't tell the brothers Grimm. The story begins with a standard mother-daughter conflict. Mother gives daughter detailed instructions and advice which daughter immediately ignores. Is there a moral here? Little Red Riding Hood, take these cakes and bottle of wine to your grandmother. She's very ill and weak. Don't stray from the path or talk to anyone on the way. With pleasure, Mother. I'll do just as you say. The forest is home to many animals, and not all are fit for pets or food. What oh, delightful and cuddly creatures. I could eat them all up. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you headed this beautiful day? To visit my grandma, sir, under the three big oak trees. An excellent destination, my dear. Enjoy your journey. Take your time. What a happy thought. I'll collect a butterfly or two and some flowers. Granny will be grateful. What a credulous ninny. The wolf's already selected Granny for his entree. While she dawdles, he's on his way to the three oaks. Granny loves flowers. I'll pick a few. She won't even notice if I'm a bit late. Having previously demonstrated the acuity, if not the temperament of a rock, no one should be surprised that Red Riding Hood is outmaneuvered by the wolf when she arrives at her granny's. Come in, little... <coughs> Come in, little Red Riding Hood, and bring the cake and wine. However, did she know what I brought? She sounds as though she's very ill. My granny, I never noticed how big your mouth is, and your grooming. You look nearly wild. Appearances are deceiving, my dear. <laughs> Sometimes. Her oh. cries for mercy were in vain, of course. Mercy was not in the wolf's nature. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood joined her granny in the dark. I've heard of a room for two, but this verge is on the incredible. All wolves and pythons have more in common than I imagined. Granny, I wonder where you'd got to. I brought cakes and wine. There was a wolf in your bed. What is that smell? Unless I very much miss my guess, my dear, we're in the belly of the beast. Surely not. It stinks worse than our privy. But it's a bit cleaner. That looks like Mrs. Schmidt's arm. Very distinctive tattoo. In perhaps the most far-fetched rescue ever, a lumberjack with an expert sense of lupine anatomy passes by. This worthy naturalist, noting the wolf's belly is dangerously distended, relieves the creature's distress with his scalpel-sharp axe and simultaneously saves both women from the wolf's digestive juices. <laughs> Well, isn't that amazing? What were you two up to in there, anyway? Very little. It was quite dark. My ears hurt. The wolf gobbled us up. You can't blame a creature for being hungry. I sewed him up and let him go. I'm sure he's learned a lesson. Really? What do you think of that, Grandma? We'll eat the cakes and drink the wine. After I take a hot bath. The wolf learned a lesson, all right. They've all got rocks in their heads. What a crock. I mean, what kind of parent sends a child into the woods alone? What child mistakes a savage wolf for her beloved grandma? And nobody dies? If you'd like to add a bit of flavor and spice to this tasteless, if happy meal, play on. Yep. I'm loving it. Let us go. On we go, on we go, on we go. Ah, oh, I miss this game. Once okay. there was a way to get back home again. But not, but not anymore. A simple stroll in the woods can be a walk on the wild side. Tell me that's not a good thing. 
I'll say you're wrong. <laughs> Mother sends Little Red Riding Hood to tend her aged granny and implores the child not to dawdle along the way. Isn't that precious? I hate it. Let's fix it. Aye. Oh my gosh, I missed this. How do I move about again? I'm pretty sure... Make it stinky. Use the arrow keys and then... Let's stop it. Let's space. move! Oh yes, that is exactly how I do it. Yep. Make everything stinky. Fucking cleaners. Just run around. Now who's smelly? speed if I just did not Rompin, stompin, but kick it there's not such a damn perfectionist make it foul all right then I think I will I think I will sir I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just, I'm gonna strive for that I Before we get there. Alright then. That'd work. That's pretty good. It's pretty good time, I think. Alright. Make it gross. Okay then. I think we're Let's move! Gonna make all of this place so disgusting. Yes. Just spread my filth everywhere. Zigzagging lines all over the fucking place. Oh, there are cleaners. Oh, I have to make it gross. Okay, got it. You shut up, you shut up. Cleaning things. Damn cleaners. Very gentlemanly. I thought it was very. Make it nasty.
that would be good, that way, apparently. No, oh, no, not these fuckers. I hate these fuckers. Now, I'm rotten. Oh. oh, yes, I got it. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Ooh. Do I just, do I just get on? Up. Oh, oh, no, my water! No, my okay. Oh. That's rather... Grim. <laughs> now who's nasty? Stomp it! But stopping. But stomping, yes. But stomp it! That's... That's my kind of wabbit! Oh my gosh. Did they... They did. Oh. I love this game. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Onward. Hmm. <laughs> Races to Grandma's, while Little Red Riding Hood, the thoughtless twit, picks flowers. I'd like to see Granny get that chomp, and Red deserves some grief for her behavior. Make it, Make it foul. Ooh, I like where this is going. Let's move! <laughs> the rabbit. Okay. Screens. Your one. Your P shows how far you can jump. Like it shows you where you land when you jump. It took me forever to fucking figure that out. <laughs> Flower pickers will be shot. Entry your soul. Now!
touch. Don't be good. <laughs> the only flowers that don't make me nauseous are dead ones. Huh? Pretty good.